This video will show you how to enable or disable driver verifier. It is based on the tutorial found on 10 forums by Boozhead, and we're going to go there now. This is an excellent tutorial with a lot of details and a lot of information. Now, some of the details we won't go into in the video. There are several considerations we need to be aware of before we begin. The purpose of driver verifier is to put additional stress on the driver so that the faulty driver will make the computer crash and the dump file will catch the faulty driver. Therefore we need to make sure that we're configured for small memory dumps so the dump file can catch the driver. Next we make need to make sure that we've created a restore point so we will have a way back in the event the computer will not boot. It is advisable to have backups of your personal files before beginning, and it is strongly advised to not do this without someone who can read dump files. There are three ways to enable driver verifier, and I'll show you all three ways. When you need to disable driver verifier, you can use any of the three ways to do it. You don't have to use the same way you use to enable it. The first way is to just type verifier in the search box. But we're not going to use that way. The next way is to go to task manager. Click File and Run New Tasks and type Verifier into the search box. The way we're going to do it is use an elevated command prompt. Just type Verifier into the screen and tap Enter. Alright, we want to choose Create Custom Settings. Click Next, and then we want to click In Out Verification, Force Pending In Outs, and IRP Logging, and click Next. Now we want to select drivers from a list. Click Next, and then we want to click on Provider, which will sort the drivers by the provider. We want to select all drivers that are not provided by Microsoft. Click Finish, and we will have to reboot. When we come back, we'll be, we'll have Driver Verifier enabled. Okay, we're back, and Driver Verifier is enabled. You may notice the computer running a little slow because of the stress being put on the drivers. Use the computer any way you would like to. 
If there are activities that you do that you did that made the computer crash, do them frequently. I would run it for 24 hours, but no more than 48. When you get ready to disable it, you can use any of the three ways we showed you to enable it. You don't have to use the same way to disable it that you used to enable it. So we're going to use a different way to disable driver verifier than we used to enable it. We're going to go to use task manager. Click file, run new task, and type driver verifier. And then simply click disable existing settings. Click finish, and you'll have to reboot. When you reboot, driver verifier will be disabled and it's as simple as that that's all there is to it